Hi guys, Darren at Protopilot here. So in this video, I'm going to be using some components from my Skeleton UI library to build this signup flow. So specifically, we're going to be using the text fill component and the button component. So let me just run you through a demo of what we're going to be building. So I'm going to be able to tap on this first text field here. I'm going to type in my name and I'm going to tap this next button. It's going to take me to the second scene and you can see that it's displaying the name that I typed here in this salutation. Okay, so we're going to be looking at using these components, grabbing the inputted text from the text field component and how and looking at how we pass it between two scenes in Protopy to populate this message on the second scene. So to follow along, you will need to have purchased the Skeleton UI library. There will be details for that in the comments. If you just want to have a look to see how the components are be, can be used, then obviously feel free to watch the video and then see uh, how this can using this component library can really speed up your workflow. Okay, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've got my starter file open here. And all I've done so far is I've exported some designs from Figma into my Protopy file. So I've got these two screens. I've got sign up one and sign up two. So these have been exported into Protopy as two scenes. And what I need to do first is I want to go and grab my skeleton UI component. So I'm just going to hop over to my, to my skeleton UI library file. And I, and I want two components. I want the button component. So I'm just going to copy that. And I want the text field component. Okay, so I've got my two skeleton UI components sitting in my local components library. And the first thing I want to do is I want to swap out these graphical visualizations of the text fields and the buttons for my components. Okay. And the easiest way I've found of doing that is I'm going to temporarily create some components. So I'm going to make sure I've got my text field first name selected. I'm going to hit component. And I'm doing this purely so I can use this, this component swapping behavior that we've got inside of Protopy. Okay, so I'm going to swap this with my skeleton text field component. So it's just called text field. You can see some visual differences there, but we're going to get to that in a minute. I'm just going to do the same for this last name as well. Same process, make it a component and then swap it. Cool. So obviously there are some visual differences um, and we could just override the individual instances, but because I want all of my text fields to look the same, I'm just going to do those changes inside of the master component. So I'm going to open up text field here. I just need to do a few things. I'm going to select the input layer and I'm just going to change the fill color to white and make the fill 100%. I'm also going to change the radius corners to six. Okay, I'm going to come out of the component back into the scene. I just need to make these the correct size. I'm just going to drag them out to fill the container. And we're good to go. We've now got two instances of our skeleton UI text field component. Okay, so let's follow the same process for the button here. So I'm going to select the button, make it a component, just so I can swap it. Again, I want to go into the master. Just make some visual changes. I'm going to change this to black. Now I just need to reduce the radius to six. Okay, I can go back to the scene here. And again, just need to make it the correct width. Okay, so now we've successfully swapped our components. We can get rid of those temporary components that we created. So we can get rid of button next and these two text fields. Okay, so our view is now set up. And next up, we're going to look at how we actually get the text input from first name and how we then transfer it from this scene to the second scene. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to add a variable. And variables in Protopy are the way that you can persist data between scenes. That's one of the uses that they, that they bring. And specifically, we want to use a for all scenes variable. So I'm going to choose for all scenes from the variables panel. I'm going to call its first name. And we want to make sure this is a of type text because we, we're going to be passing text into it. So we just need to switch it to a text variable. Cool. 
Next up, we need a mechanism of getting the value from the skeleton UI text component into this variable. So as part of the design of skeleton UI, it uses the messages system that Protobuy has. So you have a receive trigger and a send response. These are the two parts to be able to send messages to and from components. And specifically, we want to start off by using the receive trigger. Okay, so the receive trigger is how we can kind of get a message from components. So I'm just going to choose receive here. And for this specific component, we're going to change the channel to receive from component because I want to get a message from this specific first name component. And I'm going to choose that from this second drop down list. So text field first name. So that's the one I want the, the text from. And once I've chosen that, I can now choose the get text message. It's the only message that's broadcast from this component. Okay, so I've got the message, but I actually want the value inside the message. And I want to pass it to my variable here. So I need to check the assign to variable box. This reveals the select variable dropdown. And all I need to do now is select my first name variable. Okay, so that will now effectively pass anything we type in this text field to this variable. Okay, so the second component I'm interacting with from the library is this button component. Um, so again, I need to use a receive trigger. So I'm just going to put receive trigger down. This time I'm going to leave the channel at receive from current scene. And this is mainly because there's only one instance of this button component in the view. So I don't need to be specific about it. And I'm going to actually choose the button up message. So there's two messages that you can see that's broadcast from the button, button down and button up. So I'm going to choose button up. And within this receive trigger, I'm going to use the jump response. So this is the response we use to navigate from scene to scene in Protopy. With the jump selected, I'm going to select my sign up to scene. I'm going to change the transition to slide in. And I'm going to leave the right to left transition as the default. Okay, so that pretty much covers all of the things that we need to do on this first scene. And in the next part of the video, we're going to work on this sign up to view and I'm going to show you how to grab that value that's in this first name and populate the salutation. Okay, so in this final part of the video, we're going to look at how we actually grab the value that's been typed in from scene one and how we can update this salutation at the top of our design here. Okay, so the first thing we need to do actually is we need to turn this text layer because this has been imported from Figma. So it's just a regular protected text layer. It's not coming as an editable text layer. So we need to make it editable in Protopy. So I'm going to select label salutation. I'm going to come over to the properties panel. I'm going to type. So I'm going to tap make editable. And this will now make it an editable field. The only thing else I want to do here is I want to change text resize to fix. I want to make sure this kit keeps to a fixed size. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do on the setup part. Okay, so on the interactive part, we're going to come to the triggers panel. We're going to add a start trigger. I'm going to change the options to start with jump. This just means that the value in our text layer will be updated before the scene gets displayed. So it'll look like it's already there. Okay. And within this start trigger, we're going to choose a text response. We're going to select our label salutation layer and we're going to change the content to formula because we need to write a formula to populate this layer with the dynamic text. Okay, so when I choose formula, I get this extra box that appears underneath. So I'm going to hit this FX button. This is going to expand my formula window out into something a bit larger. And there's a few things we want to do here. First of all, we have to recreate this whole value. Okay. We have to create the high and the space and the comma as well. Okay. And then obviously in the middle, we want to use our variable. So the first thing we want to do is the high bit. So to create a text snippet inside of formula, we need to use double quotes. So I'm going to open up a double quote, I'm going to type high and it must also remember to type the space before I close the double quote. So it's going to print high space. Okay. That's the first part of our message. When we want to stick pieces of text together in formulas, we need to use the plus symbol. So I'm going to put a plus symbol in. The next part is the variable. So I need to grab the variable. So I could just hit this plus icon inside the formula window here. And I'm just going to choose that first name variable. 
Okay, so that's going to bring the, the dynamic value of our first name variable. I'm then going to type another plus because we need to just basically add the comma at the end there. Okay, so plus, and again, double quotes, comma, close double quotes. Obviously, there's no space here. Okay, so this kind of makes up the entire formula. So I'll just tap OK here. Okay, that's pretty much all we need to do. I'm going to come back to sign up one and we're going to give this a test, open up preview and type in my name. I'm going to hit the next button here. And you can see that we've effectively taken the value from that variable and we've updated this salutation. Okay, so one thing I just noticed, just need to change the label here to next. And that's a little bit better. Let's just run through that again. Type my name, hit next, and I've updated it. Okay, so hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight into a couple of things. Um, how easy it is to create forms with Skeleton UI. So you've got all the tools you need to use to do these kind of more complex prototypes without the, the need, kind of like the extra knowledge that you need to create these things from scratch. If we actually go into the text field component, you can see there's quite a lot going on. So you don't need to worry about any of this because it's all kind of created for you. But of course, if you're interested in how the text field component has been built, when you buy the library, you also will have access to all of this. So you can kind of reverse engineer what I've, what I've created and kind of see how I've created these components, which can be quite useful as a learning tool. Okay, so that about wraps up this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, then please give it a like and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Take it easy.